Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part 23 of Chrono Trigger. So, ah, shit. <laughs> Did not mean to run into Chrono's fake mom again, but luckily, you can run away. <laughs> so, fortunately, we've defeated Slash, we've defeated Flea. Hopefully, we'll be able to progress further into the castle rather than just the lobby. Seriously, we haven't really gone, gotten anywhere outside of the lobby. <laughs> Frog is very close to learning the move Heal, which is, like, one of his best moves that he's ever going to get. One of his most useful, and what makes him one of my favorite characters. But anyway, the save portal? Save portal? The, the little shiny star portal thing opened up for us to continue on through Magus' castle. And by continue on, I mean run away from fucking everything. Ha <laughs> you're too slow. Neener, neener, neener. <laughs> uh, again, I'm running from most of these fights, so that way I'm not too strong for anything in the game, because i played the game so many times that it doesn't take anything for me to get to where the game can't beat me. Anyway, though. Not to get too big of an ego here, but, you know, I am the Pink Panther after all. <laughs> Anywho, though, again, I should have stocked up on supplies before coming into Magus' castle. I don't know if you all are noticing, but I'm running surprisingly low on tonics. It's Ozzy and a chest with a mist robe that I put on instead of the Taban vest for... No logical reason. The Taban vest is so much better. I grow tired of this. Slash! Flee! Sorry, Ozzy, but they can't help you now. You fly eating tongue flicking! Uh, Ozzy's in a jam! <laughs> Thou canst. I hate that canst chit. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, Ozzy's a fucking coward, and that makes him hilarious. He's one of my favorite villains in this game. Welcome! So yeah, you want to avoid getting hit by the guillotines? Are they guillotines? What, what's the technical term for those? I don't think they're technically guillotines, are they? Huh. Anyway, we found a dark mail, which raises magic defense by five. Are you going to want to wear this one instead of the ruby vest that you probably already have? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to top cutting fire damage by half. When you get up close to him, like right here, like right by the balcony gate thing, he speeds up the thing, the guillotine blade thing. But it's still really easy to get through. See? Ugh. What the? Impossible! <laughs> and over here is the Doom Finger. <laughs> As you may be able to guess, it's a weapon for Robo. <laughs> uh, why is it called the Doom Finger? Beats the hell out of me. That's a funny ass name for a weapon. For some reason, this part right here that we're on always makes me think of the original Donkey Kong game from, like, way back in the 80s. Is it just me? Am I the only one who sees it? What with the ladders and the ramps and all that, all we're missing is a plumber and a hammer. Well, and a giant gorilla who kidnaps some... some random chick. But anyway, this is the most annoying shit that Ozzy pulls on you. Is it hard? No, it's just fucking annoying. There are random holes that you can fall in if you don't know exactly where to walk, and it sends you down into this pit area. Now luckily, once you kill these skeletons the first time, then you never have to fight them again, so that is good, since... Well, that'd just be annoying as fuck. They're not hard, they're just annoying. Again, Chrono and Frog can both take them out in one attack. <laughs> Especially when you get a critical hit, holy shit. Two critical hits. Holy shit. <laughs> Three critical hits. Holy shit.
Ah, damn, I thought I was going to get a fourth one. Anyway, there is a little bit of treasure in here, so you may want to fall down here the first time. There's a magic tab over here. Huzzah. Again, I'm going to probably be using every magic tab on Chrono, because, well, why not? And then up here are a couple of chests that contain a shelter, a barrier, and there's one, no, two over here, a lapis, and a mid-ether, and then that's it. And now we have to choose between four safe teleporting looking spots. One of them is a safe spot, one of them is the teleporter to bring you up here, and ah, fuck. <laughs> and I fall back down, and now all the spots are reshuffled. Luckily, I found it again really damn quick. Oh, fuck! <laughs> again, I hate this part just because it's annoying. And right here is the other kind of save point thingy. And it's killer save points! I don't know if they ever actually attack. They're easy as fuck to kill, but... <laughs> I love that it's an actual enemy, and they fly all over the damn place. But anywho, easy schmeasy. Lots of EXP for how easy that fight is. That's an actual save point, so I recommend either using a shelter if you have if you're hurting for some reason. Or, you know, saving. Like that. <laughs> like I did there and you didn't get to really see it. <laughs> anyway, let's try this once again. Come on now, just go over- Ah! We did it! Err! What the? Impossible! <laughs> I don't know why they didn't make him say something else, but okay. Again, this is the Donkey Kong style area. But, this one's a little bit tougher. It's a little bit tougher to get through. And that fucking outlaw bird ninja thing just used flame whirl on me! Rat bastard. Uh, but anyway, the battles are not too not too bad, especially since Luca has napalm as well as fire too, and she just demolishes shit. <laughs> Again, you really want to bring Luca for this place, especially. Well, I don't want to spoil anything, but yeah, I'll just say you really want to bring Luca to this place. Okay, yeah, outlaw fucker, we're not battling you. Well, we did, but we're not gonna show the battle with you. Again, you can, well, I don't know about again, but you can use the ladders to climb down and avoid these round bomb things, which I failed to do. They do explode pretty much as soon as the battle begins, and they do hurt a decent amount, so try to avoid them. Ah. Fucking birds. <laughs> the birds are driving me crazy in this game. Seriously, they're driving me nuts. Damn birds. Anywho, this is a big stretch of battles. They're being raised in by elevator. Are they hard battles? No. <laughs> it's a si Oh, I'm sorry, we're fart- we're farting. We're fighting, rather, groupies. And a bunch of outlaw birds and jugglers, which we're skipping. Frog finally learned heal. Heal is fantastic. We're actually going to get to see it here in this battle coming up. Because I do show this one off because of the jugglers. Now, the way the jugglers work is they have barriers. If you use a physical attack on the juggler, its physical defense barrier thing will pop up. And then if you try physical attack again, it won't hurt it for very much damage. That was heal, by the way. Heals all of your allies. Frog can do this on his own. That makes Frog fucking kick ass. Robo actually gets a move that's very much like this, but, you know, it, it's just Frog gets it too, and that makes Frog a kick ass character. As I was saying about the jugglers, though, 
when their physical defense barriers are on, they're weak against magic attacks, such as Napalm. Yes, believe it or not, the grenade is considered a magic attack. And what's more, because fire is strong against fucking everything here, it'll one-shot the jugglers if their magic defense is off. If their magic defense is on, then logically you're going to use a physical attack against them. Or you should. And that pretty much sums up the jugglers. They're not too bad as long as you know that. If you don't know that, you're going to be there for a while. They do have probably 400 HP would be my guess. But, oh, Luca just demolishes them with the napalm bomb. It is just a fantastic fucking weapon. Fantastic spell, move weapon, item, thing. What the? Impossible! That's the third... <coughs> excuse me. Third fucking time he said that. Ugh. Grr, this takes the cake! And so he runs off. And we found a speed belt, something that we've had for a long-ass time. And I realized that, and I'm like, oh, fuck it. I don't want to wear that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, though... Ah, shit. <laughs> Never mind, we gotta run from some more battles. Again, you're too slow. You're too slow. You're too slow! <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. And we found a revive. Anyway, now, finally, we get to take- Ooh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Treasure chest, we gotta get the treasure chest. I mean, it's treasure. Fuck Ozzy, I want the treasure. And it's shit we already have, damn it. <laughs> Let's take out Ozzy. Thy time hath cometh, Ozzy. Cometh? Arr, arr, arr. I'm sure Magus has already prepared his reinforcements. Blah, blah, blah. He's summoning Lavos. I shan't be defeated. Shan't. Basically, he's covered himself in this ice barrier thing, which when you attack, it does so little damage. I don't know how much HP he has, or if he can actually kill him this way. But... He also, every time, counterattacks with a pretty strong explosion that does a ton of damage. And it'll kick your ass. I won't lie, it'll kick your ass. So, I'm gonna use heal. Frog's heal move, which is kick fucking ass. And I'm noticing that I can attack a switch. What does this mean? Well, let's find out. <laughs> so apparently a hole opened. Maybe. I don't know. I'm having trouble seeing it. So let's try the other switch. Watch where you're aiming. And again, I'm healing because heal is so kick-ass, and yeah, I love it. Ah! <laughs> He's really getting a kick out of the fact that I suck, apparently. <laughs> eh? Ah! <laughs> Dumbass. That guy was totally bent. Hell yes, he was. I'll see you folks later.